Hello everyone. This is the first video in coordinate geometry. What is coordinate geometry? It is the study of geometric figure like line shapes using coordinates. Okay. I hope you remember what a coordinate is. Coordinates are a pair of numbers which are used to determine the position of a point or a shape in a two dimensional plane. Suppose I mark this dot as A. This is represented as 3, 2. The 3 represents the x-axis value here. Okay. This 2 represents the y-axis value. So in the coordinate form, this point A is represented as 3, 2. Okay. By using two points you can find midpoint of a line gradient of a line and length of a line first midpoint of a line how to find midpoint of a line in two dimensional plane midpoint of a line consider this line a b Okay, how to find the midpoint of this line AB? Midpoint of a line will be same distance from both endpoints. Okay, suppose if I mark this as M, that is the midpoint. So the distance between A to M and M to B will be same. It's like uh, finding the average of two coordinates. Suppose A is x1, y1 and B is x2, y2. The midpoint M is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Okay. Let's uh, look at this example. The coordinate of A and B are 2 comma 4 and 6 comma 0. Find the midpoint M of the line joining A and B. So now we know the midpoint formula which is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. So 2 plus 6 divided by 2 comma 4 plus 0 divided by 2. So the midpoint M is 6 plus 2, 8 divided by 2 which is 4, comma 4 plus 0 that is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the midpoint is 4, comma 2. Okay. So in this case, This is split in the ratio 1 is to 1. We can find a point M which is uh, splitted based on some ratios. Okay. Let's consider the same example. But in this case, this A and B is splitted in the ratio 1 is to 3. So, M will come somewhere here. Okay. So, now we have to find the coordinate. So, in this case, okay, we are going to use a different formula. Okay. 
so whenever you are asked to find points that divides the line ab in some ratio so the formula will be m will be equal to x1 that is from starting from a from this point so x1 plus okay if it is split in the ratio m is to n m times the difference in the x axis value that is x2 minus x1 divided by m plus n the sum of the ratio comma y1 plus m multiplied by the difference in the y axis value that is y2 minus y1 divided by m plus n okay let's find out when uh, the line ab is divided in the ratio so in this case this is not a midpoint actually this is a point m which splits the line ab in the ratio 1 is to 3 okay so x1 is 2 plus m is 1 here m is to n x2 minus x1 x2 is 6 minus x1 is 2 divided by m plus n is 4 y1 is 4 plus 1 multiplied by y2 minus y1 so 0 minus 4 divided by m plus n is 4 2 plus 6 minus 2 is 4 4 divided by 4 so 1 so 2 plus 1 this is 4 plus 0 minus 4 is negative 4 divided by 4 gives negative 1 so m is 3 comma 3 okay next consider the line same line a b but now the ratio splitting ratio will be let's take 3 is to 1 so m is 3 n is 1 okay now let's find out what is m in this case x1 which is 2 plus m is 3 times 6 minus 2 divided by 4 comma 4 plus 3 times 0 minus 4 divided by 4 2 plus 3 times 4 divided by 4 and here 4 plus 3 times negative 4 divided by 4 so m is 2 plus 3 so 5 4 minus 3 so 1 okay so here the m value is 5 comma 1 next by using two coordinate let's see how to find the gradient of a line gradient of a line it is a measure of how steep a two dimensional line is okay larger value means uh, more steeper okay if a line has a gradient of 4 then it will be more steeper than the line which has the gradient 3 okay so positive gradient if the value of the gradient is positive then you will get a line like this that is the line is going upwards 
okay if the gradient is negative the line will be like this that is the line will go down okay so how to find gradient gradient is rise over run that is change in the y value divided by change in the x value suppose we have the points x1 y1 x2 y2 then the gradient formula is y2 minus y1 which is the change in y axis value so change in x value is x2 minus x1 and the gradient is represented by the letter m in the equation of the line the general form is y is equal to mx plus c okay i hope you remember this in this the m represents the gradient okay if you know two coordinate points you can calculate this gradient by using the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 okay next example find the gradient of the line joining 2,4 and 6,0 so that the gradient of the line is m is equal to y2 minus y1 x1 y1 x2 y2 so 0 minus 4 divided by 6 minus 2 which is equal to negative 4 divided by 4 or negative 1 okay so this means the line would move downwards by one unit this one actually represents the change in the y value okay for uh, whenever there is a change in the y value by negative one then the x value will change by positive one that is uh, the negative one represents the movement towards the downwards okay so the line would move downwards by one unit for every one unit the line moves to the right side the x value is positive here so the line will be extended towards the positive side that is the right hand side So this is the line 2 comma 4 and this is 6 comma 0 okay if you are going to extend this line the x value first consider the y value so 0 minus 1 so that minus indicates downwards and 1 indicates how many units so downwards 1 unit y value will get changed and the x value is positive so it will move towards the right side so next point will be 7 comma negative 1 so this will be 7 comma negative 1 example draw a line with gradient negative 2 that passes through the point 1 comma 0 okay we need to draw a line the gradient is given as negative 2 the other gradient can be written as negative 2 over 1 the negative 2 indicates 2 units downwards the positive 1 in the denominator indicates 1 unit towards the right side okay it 
it's given it passes through the point 1 comma 0 let's mark 1 comma 0 here okay so we need to draw a line the next point will be two steps downward so one two here okay one step towards the right side so here next two steps downwards one step right so you will get a line like this okay suppose if the gradient is given 1 over 3 then it this indicates one unit upwards for every three units towards the right side next by using two coordinates we can find the length of a line how to find the length of a line when uh, two coordinate points are given let uh, x1, y1 and x2, y2 be the two coordinates. Then the distance between these two points can be found by using the formula d is equal to square root of difference in the x value. That is x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square. Example, a line AB joins the points 3,4 and 5,8. Calculate the distance AB. Okay. So, here you take this as x1, y1, x2, y2. So, the distance is x1 minus x2. So, 3 minus 5, the whole square, plus 4 minus 8, the whole square which is equal to negative 2 square 4 plus negative 4 square so 16 so square root of 20 is the distance and if you want to write it in the decimal then you can write it as 4.47 so in this video now we learned how to find a midpoint of a line, gradient of a line, length of a line by using two coordinate points. Okay. I hope uh, now these points are clear to you.